four step rapid problem solving report out in partnership with JJ Churchill. Step one, concern. Step one, key learning points. Step one is called concern. The concern is the problem to solve. Understanding and identifying the eight ways through observation can help uncover the problems with the work. We need to answer the question, what's the gap? in order to identify what the problem to solve is. The gap is the difference between where you should or want to be and where you currently are. Step one is key, as it clarifies the problem you are trying to solve in simple, numeric terms. We need to quantify the problem or the gap. Using key performance indicators are a good way to do this. We then need to analyze the gap, as it will need breaking down. Using data and the Pareto diagrams and the 80-20 rule from the seven problem solving tools are a great way to do this to determine the problem to pursue or what to focus on. From the gap analysis, you then need to decide what you're going to prioritize and state the problem to pursue. In a moment, you'll hear a team member from JJ Churchill explain their step one report out as shown here. They will first introduce the background on the problem to solve in this case, it is reducing machine setup times for a specific machine. They will then go on to clarify the gap, then analyze the gap, and from analyzing the gap, they will identify the problem to pursue. Take some time to review the information on screen. Here is a short clip of a JJ Churchill team member presenting their step one quadrant chart for rapid problem solving. Because it's our biggest job, highest quantity, which means more setups. Um, why are we also looking at it? Because from a setups, uh, doing the setups, the operators don't really tend to do the setups. It's left down to engineering. So what does that mean? It means that uh, the machine downtime is obviously increased over the new shifts as well, being being so you know, the operators coming in now over the weekends. So you're looking at big. 48 hour periods of downtime if the machines are needing to be, uh, to be set up over the weekend. Uh, from an actual setup point of view though, uh, the current setup, which uh, I went down and we timed it, was around 229 minutes. Uh, we broke that down into the, into the sections. We've got obviously the loading of the tools, the fixtures, measuring them all and that. That took about 73 minutes. Actually machining the part took about 60 minutes. Obviously we had other stuff as well, like calibrating the CMM, deburring the part, getting it from an empty machine to your first part being stamped off. Took 229 minutes. Our goal, we want to get it down to about 120 minutes, so two hours. So at the moment, we have a gap of around 109 minutes. So our main focus will be reducing the loading, unloading, and measuring of the tools and fixtures. So to recap, what should the story look like for step one? Well, there should be some background to give some context to the problem and set the scene, as we say. Pictures or graphics or supporting data can be used to help this as well. The gap should be clearly visualised between the standard, where you should or want to be, and the current situation in terms of where you are. And finally, we want to analyse the gap to determine the problem to pursue, or in other words, the biggest contributor to the gap. Pareto diagrams are useful to do this and we must ensure that it is quantified. Visit our website www.leanuk.org or contact us at info at leanuk.org for any other information or how we can support you on your lean learning journey. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest lean content.